Hi everyone, this is CBGS with me, it's me, Leon, and with me today is Jungle. Hi. And Brendan. What's up? Uh, can hand come out lah. What's up? What's up? I cannot see it lah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> so yeah, this is the de debut fight for both Jungle and Brendan, our latest addition to the team. So, uh, this is their debut fight, and the other guys here, they will be doing the things that me, Kevin, and Nestor will not do. So they are the guys that will bring you that kind of nonsense. So first we have the wacky deck builder, Jungle. So please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jungle. I'm, I've been on the CVGS Discord channel for a long time and I'm starting out over here now. Well, uh, yep. So a little bit introduce about your current deck right now. This is what you're playing so, today. So this deck is... Uh, well, my nickname for it for is the Pantheon deck. But basically it revolves around the synergy between the Alden Grandwalkers. Or the supposed synergy. <laughs> okay. So uh, so there's a lot of uh, searching, I'm assuming, yes, in just to say? A lot of searching and a lot of World Walker cards. Uh, a lot of the cards in this deck are World Walker family, but this is still a multicolored deck. Ah, I see. So it's a rainbow. Okay, yes. rainbow for the current era, yes. I guess. So next we have Brandon, who is the Dread Aggressor, I call it. Yes, yeah. so this deck is literally very simple. Turn 1, set up. Turn 2, go for the kill. So that pretty much uh, summarizes uh, Brendan's uh, introduction. Basically, he is bringing to do those uh, what we call cancerous things. Well, the competitive stuff you would yeah, see uh, in terms of rate. That's correct, the competitive stuff. La. So, okay, with that said, the both players already shuffled their deck and drew their 4. So now prepare your junk game. That's your junk game boy. Oh, okay. okay. So, okay. jungle okay. has won. Okay. We'll look at your hand. I oh, know that was Brendan that won. So, look at your okay. hand. Look at my hand first. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, uh, I will go first. Okay, so with that done, uh, both players, are you ready? Okay, to over! Hi ho! Okay, now okay, so let's go. Start step, uh, no cost step, draw step, refresh step, main step. Uh, 3 costs, I will summon Thunder Zed Weasel. So Thunder Zed Weasel's ability, I will open the top 3 cards of my deck. And I will add a Grand Walker Zeus, a red, uh, Visitant or Avatar Spirit and a uh, red uh, Visitant Brave. In this case, uh, there's only one target which is Emperor Beast King, so I'll add that to my hand while the rest go to the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. And that summarizes my turn. Go ahead, Jack. Start step, pretty simple. Four step, draw step, fresh step. Uh, two cost, zero reduction. Ground Walker Zeus. When Zeus is deployed, uh, since I don't have another copy on the field, I discard the top 3 cards in my deck. Uh, Zeus charges for cost 4 and higher Emperor Beasts, World Walker, and Avatars, as well as any other Nexus, which is an all of the family. None of these 3 cards fit that category, so all 3 are just discarded with no charge to Zeus. Okay. Uh, with 3 costs, 0 reduction, I will play Hector. Hector's Axial Effect. I add a 4 from the Void to my track. <laughs> And then its continuous effect while it remains in the Axel zone. Neither player can draw from red spirit, red, purple, yellow, and blue, blue spirit effects. Spirit and Nexus. Spirit, spirit and Nexus. Kidding. Help la jungle. Set, set first and pass the turn. Jungle, why do you do this to me? So jungle has started with a uh, ceiling. The seal has started. <laughs> Not like this. Well, doesn't matter. Uh, start step, call step, uh, draw step, refresh step. Out of curiosity, do we have to use the term visited? I say that word. <laughs> well, no choice. Okay, I shall set a burst first. And then, uh, 2 cost 1 reduction, I shall mirror match and play the Zeus. So, I shall send the top 3 cards of my deck into the trash. And since uh, I have Yashion, which is a cost 4 and above Emperor so that will be 1 hit. And then they will all go to the trash. I see a very expensive common. I see a very yes indeed, but he has dropped to 100 yen, so that's not the worst uh, worst case here. So with uh, two cost and two reduction, I shall play Grand Walker to Shie. So again, I'll send the top three cards of my deck to the trash. And since Toshie charges for Braves, and there is only one target here under that Brave, it is going to charge one for Toshie, and the rest of the cards will go to the trash. Um, in this case. I shall pay one cost, three uh, three cost, two reduction to summon another Thunder Z Weasel, and then it char uh, since uh, Toshie charges for cost three and higher Emperor Beast, World Walkers, and Avatars, and it charges for Emperor Beast and Ultimates as well. I will open the top three cards of the deck with Weasel's ability, and I will add uh, World Walker uh, Visitant Brave. In this case, it will be Thunder Z Brave. 
uh, the rest of the cards will be put into the bottom of the deck. And then, uh, again, um, two cost and full reduction, I will play Bashin Dance. Mm hmm, do I want. Okay, Bashin Dance are uh, uh, deployed, I will send the top three cards of the deck to the trash again. And it charges for cost three and higher world walkers, uh, world walkers, collections, astro souls, astro deities, and uh, astro dragons, and brave cards. And in this case, it's only shaman. <laughs> So I shall charge <laughs> one from, from the void for six cost and uh, four reduction, red, red, red. And one god, I shall pay two cost, depleting one, under that reason, to summon Emperor Beast King Z. So in this case, to maintain it, I'll deplete another weasel. Since it's a uh, cost six and higher Emperor Beast and World's Walker, it will charge for all my Grand Walkers. Pops goes the weasel. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> since Hector stops me from drawing, I doubt he stops me from adding, so I will use Toshie's grand skill by sending three core to the void. I shall open the top two cards on my deck. And I'll add any Emperor Beast card from there to my hand, the rest are discarded. In this case, Shaman Hee Hee will come to my hand. But our follow one will be discarded. Okay. So now moving into attack step, I shall take uh here. Emperor Beast King Zack's ability, I'll take back all the cards from my trash themselves. And if I do, I get to summon an Emperor Beast card, uh, okay. Spirit or Brave card from my hand to the field. In this case, by paying, by paying the cost. It is normal summoning. In this case, I will pay one cost since it's red, red, god. 4 cost 3 reduction, Thunder Z Brave. So since uh, Thunder Z Brave has appeared, it's a Brave, so it's char it charges for Toshie and Bashindan. And the Braves on summon ability, it will give one call from the Void to an all in Grand Walker, in this case Zeus. Okay, so now I will proceed with the attack step. I will attack with uh, Thunder Beast King Z. So, since Hector is on the board, uh, uh, Illustrious Braves one draw effect is gone in this case. So I will declare his uh, level 2 and 3 ability. So he destroys up to 3 spirit ultimates that are inferior power to himself, in this case he's 12k but Jumbo has nothing on his board anyways. But, uh, till his next end step, he cannot summon cost 5, 7 and 9 spirits. Do you have flesh? No flesh. I have no flesh. It's a very flashy first. <laughs> first turn of attack. Flashy first turn uh, of event. Second attack. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hey, no, first attack. First attack. So first attack. Uh, and now I am done for the turn. Go ahead. Core step. Start step. Core step. Draw step. Refresh step. Okay, I want to make a cut here. Are you sure that that thing pops regardless of whether you just remove it or not? Mm hmm. Okay. It's confirmed by not really. What do we do? Pass the turn. Okay, uh, start step. Core step. Draw step. Refresh step. Is this the end of jungle? I hope not. Uh, main step. I will summon a 3 cost 2 reduction. Shaman hee hee And uh, since he's a cost 3 and above World's Walker I, It will charge for Toshi and Bashindan His on summon ability uh, Will take back a Grand Walker from Trash And uh, in this case I will take Zeus from the Trash Then I will pay 1 cost to deploy Zeus And since Zeus has appeared And it's an Olim, uh, Olim Nexus uh, Zeus will charge Hmm then I will pay one cost to summon uh, was this Blaze Tiger from BSC 32. So since he's a cost four and above World's Walker or Emperor uh, World's Walker Emperor Beast, it will charge for all my Grand Walkers. You get a call. He gets a call. Everybody gets a call. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I shall use Toshi's Grand Skill again by sending three calls to the Void, opening the top two cards of my deck. Thunder's at Brave. And Bladera. Well, sadly Bladera isn't an Emperor Beast, so he's straight to the trash where he belongs. Because he evil ones. ones. <laughs> okay, now I'll add uh, Thunder's Air Brave to hand. Now, what do I do here? Jungle is it? Oh, pitiful tree life. Hmm. Well, in this case, uh, I'll 4 cost 3 reduction. Mm -hmm. I will deplete Shaman Tiki. The direct Brave, the added yeah, illustrious Brave, Thunder's Air Brave. So since he's a Brave, Bashinda and Toshi will charge again. And then with the Brave's ability, I will uh, add one call from the White to Zeus. Now, and, well, Bashidan is currently on Grand Field, so uh-oh. 
Well, that spells trouble because everything has braves on it. <laughs> but now the start of the attack step, I will use uh, Emperor Beast King Z's ability to take back all the core from the trash. And since I have no cards in hand, I will not summon any Emperor Beast from there. So continuing the attack step, I will attack with uh, Emperor Beast King Z. So I will prop Zeus's Grand Skill 6. When an Emperor Beast, Emperor Beast Spirit declares an attack, I can send 6 cores from him to the void and I will get another turn that does not have a main phase. And then uh, Emperor Beast King Z's ability will proc again. In this case, Jungle cannot summon cores 5, 7 and 9 until his end step. And since Illustrious Brave usually will give me a draw but Hector is on the board so I cannot draw from a spirit effect. You have a flash jungle. My first will activate. Cut down the seat arch lighter, oh. which oh. activates when an opposing spirit ultimate attacks. Oh no. It is then summoned to the field and during this turn it gains an additional 10,000 power. Then since because it is an Emperor Beast Worldwalker, which is cost 4 higher, it will receive 1 charge. Hi hi. Uh, then I will proceed to my flash by sending the soul core to the trash. I, I smell will, a snake. I will advent. There's a snake in my boot. I spike it, which, ad, which can advent on cost for her. Because this is a world walker, this receives a second charge. Do you have no flash? I have no flash. Using the flash effect, by paying one cost from my trash, I can summon a red or purple world walker card from my trash. So because Spirit Shaman hits the, the bill, I can summon that. Then the level 2 effect. When I summon a, a spirit using this effect, I destroy a 10k or less spirit on your field, in which case Blaze Tiger is then destroyed. Hi, hi, hi. Shaman, on some effect, I bring back one from uh, my trash to my hand. And then I have no flash. I have no flash, so Shaman will block. And because it has lower DC, it can destroy. Uh, you're supposed to flash through your flash timing and your flash, yeah. Just in case. Okay. So, mm. flash? I have no flash. I also have no flash. So, and then Shaman will shall proceed. Hmm. Okay. Then, so, uh, at, at the end of the battle, uh, Bashindan. Bashindan's ability at the end of a Brave Spirit's attack, I will keep one damage off you. Okay. Hmm. Now, no one will see the tricky part. And how much is your hand size? My hand is jungle? three right now. <coughs> okay, how about this? Let's attack with Illustrious Brave Thunder Set Brave. I have no flash. I have no flash. I will block the Edison Dragon. Do you have a flash? I have no flash. And I have no flash. The battle proceeds since the uh, Illustrious Brave is smaller, it shall die. Alright. Okay, now. Uh, I shall proceed with Zeus's grand skill, which gave me a new turn with no main step. So start step, cost step, draw step, refresh step. Refresh step. No main step, so I'll just straight up go into the attack phase. Uh, how much power is that? 12, right? Okay, mm. doesn't matter. Uh, Emperor Beast King Z will attack. Uh, you cannot summon cost 5, 7, 9 spirits until your next end step. And since Hector is still in the open zone, I can't draw cards. Do you have a flash? I will, because the effect is once per turn, but I can use it to send it. The new yes. has started. So I will trigger the effect again to summon the shaman from the trash. Hi hi. Any flash? I have no flash. I have no flash, then this is, it will block. Do you have no flash? I do not have a flash. I have no flash. Then the, the lower DP is destroyed. At the end of the battle, Vashindan's grand field will not be one then. Yes. And that will be concluding the end of my turn. Start step. Four step. Draw step. Um, paying 2 cost 1 reduction. I'll deploy Grand Walker Mana Cup in my hand. When deployed, I can discard the top 3 cards in my deck. Uh, one, only one of them is a cost for your higher spirit, which is what Mana Cup charges for. So Mana Cup is 1 charge. These 3 cards are sent to the trash. Uh, from my hand, reduct, uh, cost 3 reduction 2, so 1 cost. Summon Shaman. Uh, <laughs> on summon, uh, Monica charges for cost for your higher spirits once per turn, so it's the second floor. The on summon effect, I bring back Grand Walker Ottomans from my trash. Oh no. Uh, sorry if I interrupt. I just need to check. Because uh, Thunder Z, he destroys uh, Eco or lower. No, no, he's not, he's not, he's not at level 3 yet. I only have 5 cores. You got your... The Brave is only, is only 12k. Oh wait, a minute. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I I have probably forgotten about that. Oh my god. Never mind, it's okay, then we just posted. He forgot about it. <laughs> Damn it! There's this misplay! No! I could have My wrong game and misplay! <laughs> oh no! By paying two costs, I'll deploy the Grand Walker Ottomans. Well, mm, because Zeus charges for me. Because Zeus charges for the deployment of an Alden Grand Walker, he charges one. And then I will proceed to this card too for, for effect. Oh no. Two of them are World Walker 
more damage. Yeah. 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 So Artemis will choose to charge. Mm. It appears through. Well, not summoning the cost of fire, so. Yep. I will set a burst. When I set a burst, Monica's effect will give him an additional core. Okay, anyway, so I shall attack with Medicine Dragon. Can you crush? Hmm. I will play. Was this this big cost brand? Brandon his game? Uh, I will pay two core for Bashing Gun to avoid to destroy a spirit with 4k or lower BP. In this case, it is Shaman. <laughs> I will use Medicine Dragon Flashback, I'm paying one cost. Then bring it back. <laughs> I summon Underdead Wolf from my trash. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. I will use two cores to make bring it to level 3. Because it is a wolf lock, Zeus and Artemis will both charge for me. Mm. Flash? I have no flash. I have no flash. And then um, I guess I'll take this one. Uh, light decrease, but Hatsudo! Uh, Alex, so I will summon herself. Giving a good power. Since Hector won't let me draw cards, I shall choose to gain a call from the void instead. Alright. Then because my turn ah. is done, I will pass the check. Uh cost there. Starts a cost there. Draw there. Well, refresh that. Main step. Well, this is really interesting. Uh two costs with full reduction, I will play Shunta, Mogami. I will send the top three cards from my deck to the trash bin. Since Mogami charges for uh, cost 3 and higher Emperor Beast, World's Walkers, Avatars, Ten Crowns, and God Kings, and Imagine Graves, there are two targets in this case, Shaman Hihi and Radia, which are both Emperor Beasts, so I'll do two cards in the world. Since Hector will let me draw my effects again, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna just move all the cards to under Z. Okay, this time I'll make sure it works. I will attack with Emperor Beast. Emperor Beast King Z. Now he's seen since he's 16k, uh, I will destroy both your spirits, which are less than 16k. Uh, flash, by sending 3 core Artemis to the void, this attack cannot produce my life. See, fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> this what? <laughs> I have no flash. Do you have any flash? I have no flash. So now that well, we are Adding end it to the end of the battle. Since Bashinban is on Grand Fear and the battle of the, the battle of the Brave Spirit has ended, I will send one call from life to reserve. Well, and that concludes the game. Wow, <laughs> that was that was actually very impressive. There's a lot of things going on. Holy sh that was an amazing turn you guys pulled off individually. So um so what do you guys feel about individual decks? The main problem that my deck gets shut down is because I can't summon my Trickster <laughs> because of the cost 5 <laughs> So as a result, Trickster in this deck is the main deck, the deck's main form of searching out Grand Walkers and World Walk World's Walkers. However, right. as a result of being locked down on th those fronts, mm. this deck suffers because it can't draw cards. It can't draw cards nor can it yeah, yeah. send anything to the board. I see, I see. So uh, as for Brandon himself was also quite in a bit of a problem because he cannot draw from his ability, so that actually reduces half of his uh, It reduces uh, way more than half of my 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 uh, hand increasing sources. Because yes. um I have uh Shunta here which normally uh, his grand skill will be sending two calls to the void to draw a card from my deck. But since Hector stops red nexuses from letting me increase hand size to effects, I cannot use Shunta's ability to draw, and I'm super reliant on Toshi because it adds cards to your hand instead of drawing. To be fair, if you had activated a summon effect, Moonlight Punish would have prevented you from attacking this entire turn. So that was a smart choice on your move. Yeah, and was, but you didn't have much things. To be fair, your hand was small. Yes. To be fair, my hand was small to begin with, so there was nothing to yeah. summon. <laughs> yeah, but basically, you both got each other locked down one way or another. It just, it just a matter of this was the game changer right there. Yes. It changed everything. Let's go the card. So, but with that said, uh, thank you all for all for watching. And if you, to, if you want to see more of our videos, remember to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel as well as join us on our Discord in the links below where we'll be there on most nights. You can talk to Jungle, you want to know more about your decks. I talk to Brandon, you want to know all about the toxic hi, stuff. Hi. <laughs> so, there's also, you can follow all on our socials as well as Facebook, Twitter, you know. So, with that said, uh, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.